normally vectors, points and column matrices are used in objects of computer graphics. In a computer graphic consists of two activities, creating an imaginary world and producing two di dimensional images of that world. The, image, the imaginary landscape is built of objects in three dimensional space. Look, each object is a set of points. Every tree, everything is nothing but a set of points. And connection between the points. Look, these are all connection between the points to give a 3D solid shape. The model consists of points and the line segment that connect from one point to another to make a realistic picture. How with points and lines we created a three dimensional picture. This is how vectors get applied in computer graphics. Let us take the dot product now. Examine the operations. In so far we all know the vector addition which means adding two vector gives a vector vector subtraction when you subtract a vector from another what do you get vector good difference of points to subtract a point from a point what is left behind vector great what is scaling man Real. multiply a vector it is a vector vector in this chapter we'll talk about dot product it is a picturesque way of saying very important thing is a dot product is called the scalar product. You should not confuse this with what called scaling. Like here we did the scaling, multiplying a real number with a vector, that's called scaling. Scalar product is dot product, that is multiplying two vectors. Okay? Why the dot product sometimes called the scalar product? It's because it takes two vectors and produces a scalar. A scalar is a real number. Great! That is the dot product. The idea of a dot product is two vectors and a scalar. Produces a scalar. Two vectors producing a, a dot product making it a scalar. Okay? So what is a dot product? For geometrical vectors in two or three dimensional space, the dot product of two vectors u and v is u dot v that is equal to mod modulus u into modulus v into cos theta that is the angle between u and v that is modulus is this is the thing right one vector u and modulus one vector e modulus is the cos, uh, absolute value the distance from this point we can count the number of squares to find the modulus yes. okay not the direction okay vector means direction u dot v is the dot product of two vectors. Look, there are two different directions. But when you are doing a dot product, we are taking only the modulus, only the value, the distance of this thing, cos theta. Theta is the angle between, angle between these two. Okay? The dot product indicated by the dot between the two vectors. Since these two are vectors, okay, it is, uh, unfortunately, many browsers do not show the dot very clearly. In two-dimensional picture, the two vectors line in a plane. You see here, right? X, Y axis. Assume in 3D, two vectors lie in a plane. In a plane embedded within a 3D space. This is 2D, this is 3D. Now you see, you get an effect. Yeah, except when the two vectors are collinear, what is collinear? They both point in the same direction. It's called collinear. Okay. In two vectors are collinear, both point in the same direction. Okay. When two vectors are collinear, the angle between them is zero. So when two vectors are collinear, the angle between them is zero. zero. So modulus of u into modulus of v into one. Cos zero is one. One. So dot product of two vectors is always a real number because there is no this is fits only for collinear vectors okay so question two u dot product v u equal to modulus v modulus v cos theta what is v dot product u the same are you sure yes because let's find it out V dot product U equal to Mod modulus of V into modulus of U cos theta, theta equal to 
modulus of u into modulus of v into cos, cos theta. It is equal. again u dot v. That is what is commutative property. So u dot v that is 1 into 2 equal to 2 into 1 in normal mathematics, right? In vector mathematics, u dot product v equal to v dot product u. Then it is called commutative. You know, zero, zero dot product of zero is zero. This means the dot product of zero vector with itself results in a scalar value of zero. This is a vector zero. Vector zero dot product is scalar zero. Scalar. There are two kinds of zero in the equation. The operands of the dot product are two of are two vectors. Okay, and the output is a scalar. This is a scalar real number. What is a into u dot v? Okay, a u dot a v is the answer. A is a scalar. Okay, a into what you must just it's a modulus of u, modulus of v into cos theta. You cannot just like that multiply. Is equal to a u a into u into dot dot product of v vector. Cosine of ninety degrees. You may be somewhat fussy about how the cosine function behaves, cos function, rather than memorize abstract stuff you have been memorizing so far. Let us visualize the unit circle with this radius projected on the x axis. Okay? The cosine of 0 degree is what? 1. The angle is 0. The cosine of 30 degree, this is 30 degree. This is 30 degree. This is going to be 0.866. Very good. The cosine of 45 degree is 0.707. Cosine of 60 degree. Cos 60 degree is equal to 0.5. Cos 60. This is going to be the 60 degree here. Cos 90 degree is equal to 0. 0. That I know well. <laughs> so this is the way you see the cosine in a circular projection okay recall that u dot v equal to modulus of u modulus of v cos, cos, cos theta. theta remember that many many times okay so the question now is two vectors are oriented at 90 degree to each other what is the dot, dot product Cos 90 is 0, hence modulus of u into modulus of v into cos 90 anyway going to be 0, why multiply? Dot product of orthogonal vectors. The dot product of orthogonal vectors is 0. Orthogonal means oriented at 90 degree to each other. 0 dot v equal to 0, scalar 0. Vector 0 dot vector v is equal to scalar 0 for all vectors v. Very good. Now look at the dot product of a vector within its uh, modulus v into modulus v cos 0. Then it is a modulus v square. Review of dot product property. Commutative property? V dot q. Good. What is orthogonal? 0. Good. What is 0 vector? 0 scalar. Good. Yay. What is this? A, A to u vector dot v vector. Very good. What is v square? V dot v. V vector dot v vector. Very good. Oh, what is? U into v vector plus u into w vector. Beautiful. U into v vector plus v into u vector plus w into u vector. V into u vector plus w into u vector is u v plus u dot w. w dot w. Okay? What is this one? Zero. Are you sure? Zero scalar. Good. You missed the one word. What is zero dot u? Scalar zero. No sense. Zero is a scalar because it is no bold type. You have missed it one. Okay. Then this operation makes no sense. You cannot do a dot. Only two vectors can be dot product. 